Hello and welcome. I am the Restless Kaiser. And I'm Johnny B. But together we are Morning, Morning for Advantage. Advantage. Well, well, John, here we are again. It's all about blue squares and orange triangles. Oh, you know it. It's you Kill Team. It. It's Kill Team. But not just Kill Team. This is the new cheaper access point for Kill Team. Okay, okay. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll Sound a bit different, right? Yeah, yeah. So, first reaction is this is a lot thinner box. It's got a lot less in it than the other one, but the price is much more bearable. So, you get in here is basically, I think, what we've seen before, but without the scenery. Yeah, without the big scenery. Without the big, without the big structural scenery. Yeah, so it's it's going to play very differently. I do also like is it's not covered in plastic. Did it not come? It wasn't shrink wrapped. No, which is good because that's a little bit less, you know, sort of environmental damage there. You know, this is true. Everything, everything comes covered. It's already in a box. What do they need plastic for? Right, let's get a tray out. Oh, it comes in a tray. Oh, well, to be fair, there's still a decent amount of plastic here, mate. A decent oh. amount. All the things. All the things. So stay there. Whoop, whoop. Should we ju should we just work our way through through through? You Let's work our way from the top. What it is. Yeah. Um. Shall we do the scenery first? The scenery first. So there's your the scenery. scenery. It's a big old wedge. It's a big old big old sponge. It's scrap pile. So there's not very much three dimensionality to it. Your tallest point there is maybe three inches high on some of these yeah, barricade uh, bits. But well, that's cool. Yeah. yeah. You get something. I'm just thinking, looking at these, do this, does this make one piece? No. Um, no, this is like the detritus that you find yeah. around. Um, yeah. None of it is an actual solid yeah. building. I mean, the, the weight of it, it's just, it's just snapped in the middle for me. Because <laughs> this is, you know, substantial Ooh. bit of scenery. Yeah. Yeah. So there you go. You get all some right. scrap piles. So this, the removal of all of the other, the big orc fortress. Yeah, that was a, a bit big that is what's taking. That was a big old chunk. Bringing the price down. Uh, so then next, uh, we've got the two uh, factions. Do you want to do the factions? Let's do the, the factions, factions of which you get the orky commandos. The orc commandos. So they're going to come across three half sprues. And you can actually see they're obviously they're manufactured like this because they're cut. Have you got? Oh yeah, you Literally. can you can actually see where it's been cut. Boop. Yeah, so you get the triple. Yeah, Oosh. these um, are cool. I do like the New York Commandos. They've got a lot of character. They've to got them. a lot of character. I mean, if you're even remotely interested in Kill Team, you've seen videos of these guys yeah. all over the place. And they are and sweet. These are not new. Um, other standout features of this um, was this. Did we get the ninja grot in this? You get the ninja grot with yeah, the grapnel. Ninja grot. You get the bomb squig. The bomb squig. Yeah. Um, what else was there? The, it's just the heads. You get. You know. Yeah. Yeah. So much character, and they're they're so manly, aren't they? Very they're, manly. They're huge. These orcs. You know. I mean, I did. I did like the kind of. Sneaky orc commando so style bits. that people have. Well, these have still got that sort of aesthetic. They don't. They, they seem they more really like raiders than, yeah, than hide. Yeah, they're just massive. They don't seem sneaky. I mean, look at the size of that. That gun must be two inches long. <laughs> that which is presumably a big shoot. This big shooter makes other big shooters look pants. Oh my! These big choppers look. Other big choppers look. Pants. <laughs> yeah, they have slightly um, upscale these. But they're all they're all tooled up on. They've all got backpacks. Oh, they've and got other, all e the bits. extra gobbins and so bits. forth. I don't know how much you could use many of these bits on your on your other orcs. Mm. Um, and I don't think you have a lot left over when you make these. No. You know they are they are monopoles. Um, if you have two kits, you're going to end up with some. And this is the thing with monopoles, isn't it? I really like monopoles for the dynamism. Dynamic monopoles. We yes. just need 10 more years for them to do another three versions of yeah. everything. Yeah, true. And, and that means that I don't, every unit doesn't look exactly the same. You know? um, <laughs> but they are cool. So they're seen the those? Orcses. And yeah, you got those in the, you got the those original in the previous kit. Yeah, absolutely. Ex exactly the same, guys. And then you get the Kriegers. Kriegers. And these, these are interesting because these are not so much monopoles. No, there are certainly. Is there more components to the? Uh, no, there's well more compo more numbers perhaps. But this is three and a quarter, uh, 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 two half sprues and a quarter sprue. Yes. Yeah. Um. Quite different. 
Yeah. So what you get with these, and when we get when we get the instructions to come out, the way these are built, a bit like some of the more dynamic, um, the more flexible, but not completely flexible monopoles. So they're so in like, more dynamic poses, you know, with legs bent and so forth, and you're getting regular ones, but not every arm fits on everybody. No, no. So you get, this you know, this true. model can have a rifle or a melter gun or a plasma gun. Yes. This other metal can have a flamer or a grenade lodger or a rifle. And if he's having a rifle, it's that one. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's about how the arms fit around their other equipment. Exactly right. Exactly yeah. right. But again, these guys, they look so much more tooled up than regular guardsmen. Yeah. They, again, they got counted, backpacks. You know, we, we know that they're Kriegers. They're called in here veteran guardsmen. So whether we'll... Whether you'll be able to get regular Kriegers and use these in the Guard Imperial Guard Codex for 40k. Oh, for sure. But in this game, you're playing them as veteran guards. Yeah. There's nothing Krieg about them. <laughs> no, there's no specifics. Oh, well, there might be. There might be some of the, um, uh, what they call, deploys and whatever that make them Krieg. Mm. But other than that, the miniatures themselves. Yeah. It's do look. Um, and, and you've got the things that you would expect with, you know, again, still usable in 40k. You've got, like, the medical kit and... And those those other upgrades. What well, I do think you've not got here, though. You've not got a standard. No, there is no standard. In terms of um, you really, I make a command squad out of these. Don't know if command squads are really a thing anymore, though, right? Mm. Maybe at one point. Um, you yeah. don't get a heavy weapon. That's more of a. Yeah. There is no Krieg heavy weapon. But if you're starting a new Imperial Guard army, I mean, we're not talking about Kelsey here, are we? We're talking about no. 40K. But these but are so still. much more interesting. Models than the considering cadence. Considering the cadence have been out for ever and ever. Yeah, yeah. Everyone's yeah. been gagging for these um, Krieg. But in terms of kill team, they seem to be pretty good as well. Boosh. Nice kit there. Other plastic. Other Widgets. plastic. Johnny's proprietary widget. Oh, yeah. Right. Um, I mean, you must know this by now. Circle is two. Triangle is not three. It's one. It's one. Yeah. The square is... It's, it's yeah. designed it's to painful. make it hard. Um... These barricades that you get are actually part of the game. Yes. In your initial deployment, you get two with the option for a third as part of that scouting phase. So you do need these, so I'm really glad that they have included those in the set. Good. Uh, bit of art. Bit of art. Again, Games Workshop does a good job with these. Whether you like... I mean, that's not really a poster, is it? Um, but whether you like this or not, this is actually protecting all your soft... Yeah, and you can, you can see... The, din uh, the dints and sort of pimples yeah, on yeah. the card. So it is doing its job. Would damage your paperwork on the Completely. Completely. Absolutely. Good on them. Right. Faces. Faces. All so of if them. you're splitting this set with a friend, you need to count out who gets which base. Yes. Because <laughs> yes. it's one bag of bases. Oosh. Orange kill team he dies. Lovely. They look a bit rubbery. They're a bit, they're a bit smaller. That? They're a bit chalky, I think. Yeah. They're also a bit smaller. These are like 12 mil dice, yeah. I think, rather yeah. than 16s. But you get um, dice. But you get dice, yeah. Is that 10 of them? 10 dice. 10, 10 dice. Which, actually, I don't think I've ever rolled more than five. Yeah, but you might need five for your attacks, and I might need five for my defence. So you need yeah. 10. Okay, I've seen Death Guard roll four defense dice, but I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean. Yeah, so you got ten dice, so you got there's plenty enough dice, and they're not cracker dice. They're not they're not big dice, but they're not cracker dice. No. Right, next up, some decals. Orc decal sheet. This was a surprising thing for me. Did you like that? I mean, yeah, yeah. When we read the last one, I really liked that because I liked I liked it wasn't just the big decals with the you know. The Bad Moons logos and motifs. It's all the little It's all bits. the little ones that you can just put on like an armour plate or a shoulder pad and the little kind of runic bits that are their language. Right? Yes. Yeah, All true. those little things. So you can, you can, you know, really sort of add colour and variety to them. I think this is a really nice decal shape. They get smaller and smaller, though, some of these they decals. Get teeny it's like, yeah, I need to get my wow. reading glasses out yeah, to look at them, let alone use them. Well, that's good. And so the decal sheet there is nice. The, well, there, yeah, there is a... There is a Krieger one. So again, saying it's Creed coming to 40k, well, there's tank decals on it. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I think so. I think more to come. Death Corps, Krieg. Yeah, because it also it says Death Corps, Krieg, not Veteran Guard, look. Yes. Yeah. True although, fact. Although in this game, there is no reference in here anywhere to Death Corps, Krieg. Yeah, I think it's I've left that guard. very much open, though, just to, you know. Yeah. So in terms of the miniatures, you've got everything that you got in that original set, so far as I can tell. Yes. Um, the paper, we'll have a look at the booklets in a minute, see if there's a difference. So this is a big difference. You don't get a oh. board, you get a paper mat. It's but, still a mat. But they put it at the bottom in another baggie, so your paper mat hasn't got damaged. Nice and secure. Which, which I like. 
in a okay. starter set for a new game, especially when it's got a proprietary table size, do value a playmat. Even if it's only on a bit of paper. Yeah. It, it, you know, it, especially like Warhammer get, for getting kids and stuff in, a playmat makes a big difference a big to thing. someone who does not have a gaming board. Yeah, true. Because you can play this on your kitchen table and you can play it at lunchtime and yeah, work, it at work. To, it adds to the game just having that, you know, bit of board and the, the oh, terrain. Oh, oh defi definitely, definitely. You're talking about as a value proposition, as it were. Oh, yeah, for sure. Start a set. So you've got two books. Ah. So that already then the thing that you got in the original set, you're not getting here. So the core book. The core book is now small. It's Diddy. It is Diddy Witty. Which isn't a bad thing. Not as long as the content is the same. It, in, not in terms of taking it to the club. Yes. So uh, you open that and I'll find, a, I'll find one of our core books. I think they're still on the table, sir. Are from they still on the table from the last game, that, mate? Yeah. Ah. So we can just we can just compare whether it is the same while you get that. You say just get this open, but uh, compendium. That's of the three books. Of over the three here, books, the one that I needed. Yeah. Two are the core book. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I think I've got a breach. Have you got a breach? I think I've... Have you got a breach? I just wonder whether they cut anything out of it. Well, it does specifically say on the back here condensed rule books. So I, I, I. But is it just condensed and it's reduced out to a five? Possibly. Explains the war do that. Warlord do that. Come on, John. You can do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just springing I mean, back. Not, we're hearing noise. Hi. <laughs> there we go. I mean, in this time, I could have got a knife. And you could have. Probably yeah, one yeah. here. Yeah. <laughs> Scalpel or it. anything. Yeah, yeah. Could have got a knife. All right. So, how many pages you got, John? Does your does your back page look a bit like this and say 143? My back page looks like not the inside 96. cover. 96. And it looks like oh, so a narrative cut, data card. So has it, it's cut all the fluff out, I would has imagine. Has the appendix. Tac Ops. It's got all the missions. Happy days. All right, so core rules. The first bit starts saying tools of war when you look at the core rules section. <laughs> Here, pass it over. I'm just going to come. Have a look. I'm just just gonna, have a look I'm just proper. Compare it. Because it could be a rewrite. You reckon what? No, I don't, I, no, I don't think it is. I think uh, yeah, it's I'm the now same, looking, but did he? Same? Yeah. It's the same, but it. did he? Okay. So it's cut all the fluff out at the beginning, but you can see there, look. It is the same. It is the same. I mean, I'm not going to go through page by page and no, say that it is exactly no. the same. Um, but you still got, I'm seeing your mission pictures. rules. It's got everything the you need. Yeah, I think it's just cut the fluff out because that's page 53. Those numbers match up quite well. Yeah. So it's a condensed version of the rules without the fluff. Really good because even if you already got one of these, that's easy that's to your travel. Your that's your travel book. That's your travel book, absolutely. Yeah. You haven't got your Tac Ops cards. Oh. So because you have to draw them as a deck, I mean, they're quite not... a big thing. Yeah. I mean, have they got some sneaky ones in here? There's another. No, no, they haven't. I'll open this up. I mean, they, they, were, they were almost the size of you've a got, playing card. Yeah, there. you've got destructions, you've got. Yeah. Your... Just going to get them out. You're going to have a look at that one. Yeah, I'm going to have a look at that one. The Recruit Edition booklet, I wonder what that's all about. The Recruit Edition booklet? Yes, yeah, so just underneath that. Under, uh, should be on the other side of those. There. These. Ah, right. There yes, another that's, booklet that's there. new. Um, so, you do get a full set of tokens. Same cool. set of tokens you got before. Sweet. Which is, which is nice. You do get this recruit edition booklet. You want to get yours out? We'll have a look at this. Do you, yeah, are we gonna? Have yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, you get your instruction booklet, and it doesn't look like it's just a reprint of the one you got before. So it hasn't got the pages in for things you don't have, <laughs> which is good. <laughs> um, good. If you've not seen modern GW instructions, which I'm sure most of you have, they're so much better. Than, these like are not them. IKEA instructions. They're like colour coding saying you put the glue, apply the glue to this surface here, and I show you in yellow. Straight from the, the 3D green renders on there. Yeah. as well, yeah. it looks like. So um, you can distinctively see what part is what. In terms of building those models, I forgot to say, the Kriegers mostly go together as you would expect, and you will find the pieces close to one another. On the Orcs, the bits all are all over, over the place. place. Yeah, you're going to find most models you're going to assemble from the three sprues. Wow. You're going to put a piece from there. A a piece over there. You're going to spend quite there. a bit of time looking for your bits. 
So last time you got a buckler, uh, an Octarius buckler. Yes. And that had the special rules for the for, two kill teams. Exactly, yeah. This time we've got a recruit booklet, which we haven't seen before. So this is unique here, but my guess is, yeah, it's got Krieger data oh, cards, wow. it's got commando data cards, um, and Next it's got steps. some missions. Yeah. Okay. So uh, I don't, I don't really remember much about the other one. No, I'm trying. I, I have flipped through it, but I think it, but it, it was, was bigger it than was, this. It, it was either. It was a bit thicker. Similar size. Do you reckon? Yeah. Do you reckon? But it was definitely more fluff, I think, and plus the Krieger team and the 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 old yeah. boys, which you get in here. But it seems yeah. to be like additional rules or missions in here. There's missions. There's lots of missions. Okay, so but they're aim, like... they're aimed for these these two. This is this is a. Uh... I don't know if that was in the other book or not. You know? No, and and I'll tell you why it's changed as well because you've got different scenery. The map tells you yes. how to lay out the scenery, yes. and obviously you've got very different scenery in here. Um, so for someone who wants to play Kill Team but couldn't afford to get in on that big box, and they're still releasing those big boxes, we're going to get more unique kill teams as we go along mm. but this is a more affordable entry point i don't know how much more expensive it is to buy like the rule book and things separately no, I'm not i think sure if you're either. interested in at least one of these kill teams as yeah, models just get miniatures full stop you get just, most of the proprietary bits and I, I think the cost of the box is similar to buying the two sets of miniatures but if you wanted one of them and you want to play kill team um so oh, what do you think what do I think? Well, uh, I wish I had a bit more memory of the Octarius booklet because <laughs> yeah, this, one, this one looks like a proper, this is how to play the game. It, it's oh, it scaffolding missions. Yeah, yeah, it seems to be tools of war. But I can't write, I cannot remember whether it, Octarius did that. This or but he Octarius. is calling it Recruit Edition. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, so, which is really good. So if you. Right. Yeah, see yeah, what I mean? So you start in playing with only four miniatures aside. Yeah. Yeah, so, so I can't like tell you if it's in the Octarius or not. Like if it's not, this is good. Yes, I don't think Octarius was like that. I no. think it was a full game of kill team. Yeah. So this is I hadn't appreciated that scaffolding the rules in that way is is a is thing, a really yeah, yeah. valuable. They have called it the recruit edition, I think. No, they call it the start set. set on the box, but it does say recruit edition on this book on that book. Yeah, on, on that book and taking you through those those step by step. It's important. Yeah, I mean, I wish we had had that. Uh, maybe we should even go back. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go back and do it. Yeah, we might learn it better. Because if, if you if you play 40k and you're new to Kill Team, it's not like, it's not a, there's no relationship between the two games. Miniatures are similar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But even all, all of the proprietary Kill Teams are so much better than the standard ones. Oh, yeah, yeah. They've got several extra rules. It's like, so, the, so like the commandos, they've got a codex. Everybody yes. else is on index. Yes, yeah? very much so. So they're definitely better. I'm not saying they'll win every game, but they're definitely better. A bit more depth. Um, but giving you a giving you a step by step because the game is complicated. I don't. Well, it's just unfamiliar. It's, yeah, it's very it's unfamiliar. And you feel it should be familiar. You're handling the same yeah. miniatures you played with what? all the time. Saying this is this is messing with my yeah. head all the yeah. time. Constantly in the book. Scaffold the mission. Th th this, now we know what it is, yeah. is the best thing in this I box. think so. And it's what Kill Team needs. Yes. Feel so really positive about that. So yeah. Maybe maybe we'll even have a look at that. I think we should, to be fair, because I might actually learn the game properly. <laughs> <laughs> well then we'll find out the games that we have played. We've been Are completely playing, wrong. Completely wrong. Yeah. Yeah. I really think that I'm surprised they've not made a bigger deal of that. Or maybe I've just missed it in the marketing. <sighs> I, I don't know. I don't this know. Because it, 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 it seems it came across like it was just a cut down version. Yes. In terms of it's making it affordable, it's entry yeah, point. It's, it's it, if you don't want all that yeah. random all terrain, here you go. I think a lot more people would play Kill Team if if they had someone who could show them how to play it. Yeah, for sure. Because it's it's so unfamiliar, so different. But the games we've had, I've enjoyed. Uh, yeah, it's been mind boggling at points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't read stuff out. We're fluent with. Yeah, the game. yeah, yeah. For sure. Maybe this will make us. We're waffling on, aren't we, John? These well, people, they want to get on with their lives. Yeah, right? get on. Uh, th this is Kill Team. I, I think as a starter set, it's significantly better than the other one. I, I would like to, you know, 
I would like to have seen this book in the other one. It yeah. may have been there, but I don't think it was. We shall anyway, see. That's it from us. Thank, Thank you for watching. watching. Bye, bye bye. If you're still here and you're looking for ways to support the channel, there's obviously a lot of ways down in the description. But a key way is to use our affiliate links to Whaling Games and others. You buy your models from them, it doesn't cost you a penny more, and we earn a little bit of commission. Thank you.